Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rebecca Roberts, I'm the current world's strongest woman and today I thought I would let you watch me pack my competition bag. Now I have UK Strongest Woman, it's the day after tomorrow. Um, this will probably be uploaded on the Friday, it's currently the Thursday night and we like to make sure that we have everything packed um, for a good competition day, make sure that we haven't forgotten anything. So me and Paul meticulously just go through each event making sure that I've just got everything packed for any eventuality. Isn't that right, Paul? Yes. <laughs> so, um, I will probably move this into a suitcase. Um, I don't really like having hold holdalls on competition day because I don't like digging about for stuff. I like to just open up a suitcase and just have things spread out in my little confined zone. But we've just got the kit together for now, which is the main thing. First things first, obviously, is my SBD belt. Um, I'll be using this for all but not one event, I think, for the competition day, so I cannot leave a house without it. So yeah, this thing is thick. Yes. <laughs> it is pretty much indestructible. Next up is my Nike Metcons. I do not do a single training session without these now. Um, I literally wear them for everything. Wear them for stones, wear them for yoke, and they've been great. They've got just the right amount of heel, um, and they're dead comfy. And yeah, I think they're great for overheads. They're great so, for pretty much everything, yeah. at least good for everything. Uh, they describe probably it as a bit battered, like Christ. These, <laughs> like, uh, I think these are a year old. When was you? It was UK's last year that we really. Because I remember watching the tire flip, and um, the others had the same shoe, the same trainers, and like really yeah. expensive. And I was like, okay, we need to chill out. But these are yeah, they're basically just designed for like heavier lifting and moving, but short distances, not like long runs. They're basically perfect for strong women, strong men. Um, bands for warming up. Um. Deadlift socks, SBD deadlift socks. I don't know why I have three pairs of deadlift socks in here, but so next up we have my soft belt. Um, this will be worn for every single event. Um, another band for warming up. Because um, you never know what kind of conditions you're going to get for warm up, even in kind of professional shows. No. It's always best to just have bands like with you because for sure and it's good you don't know what time you're gonna get in in these competitions which is like there's a lot of tv stuff to do um you might literally get back from an interview or something and have five minutes or whatever before you can beat into the bands are really quick yeah. and convenient as well so they're just quick to get out and if you've got different weights of bands you're not stuck yeah, with and you don't know if there's bar. 10 athletes trying to get to the same bar and you can't get any, anything so yeah. Bands are always at a number one in my warm ups. Um, I have two pairs of deadlift straps now for this competition. We're not allowed figure of eight straps, so we have the weird normal ones. I don't know what they're called, but then the non they're called straps <laughs> to you, the weird. Yeah, the new, new, the new generation of athletes, these are weird, these are yeah. like just straps to uh, the rest of us. Chalk. Not Pretty terrible chalk. Chalk, but. It's all white chalk. Um, we have SBD elbow sleeves. Now I love these red ones, the Phoenix ones, partly because they remind me of the Welsh colours. So I will probably be wearing them ones. Yeah. Um, Just pass me one of them. So these are like really good because they actually give you like a massive like spring compared to some other other brands. But you see they're quite soft so they don't like affect your clean or anything like that with the overhead implements they're really good i also and have warm. a pair of the endure elbow sleeves um just in case the dumbbell in warm-ups is like digging into my forearm a little bit like it does sometimes yeah it's gonna be um, a bit uncomfortable yeah uh, so i've got a spare pair and just in case i'm an idiot and lose a pair of sleeves talcum powder for the deadlift 
Um, two pairs of wrist straps again, just making sure that we've got like every eventuality covered in case I randomly lose a wrist strap. But I prefer the short, uh, the medium flexible um, wrist straps for basically most events. Um, just and you don't want like a huge time. tight wrap on a dumbbell. No, um, you need to have a little bit of wrist flexion yeah, for it because it's got quite a thick so. handle. Um, knee sleeves, they are covered in tacky because they're my stone knee sleeves, so the SBD weightlifting ones. Now I really like these because you feel like you can move in them really well as well as kind of support your knees while you're running and things like yeah, that. Yeah, they're not particularly like thick or like overwhelming early. No, so the other knee sleeves are great for kind of static events. Yeah, um, it's like a squat or, or something. Yeah. But even on like the stones, you've got to move between yeah. them. Um, yeah. But on these ones, they're just they're great. They give that support, but they give the flexibility to be able to just kind of move, and you don't feel restricted. Um, some fat grips, just in case what we've got to warm up um, isn't that great, um, because obviously the dumbbell's quite a thick handle. We have some liquid chalk. Usually we use the grip jizz, but that's not allowed for this competition. So we've bought some from our local gym, Dedicated Strongman. A timer, mainly for Paul to keep track of uh, time of other athletes. Um, Always want to time it yourself <laughs> as a coach in case a mistake happens and nobody notices or yeah. just to know where you're at as well because uh, sometimes you don't get the points until right at the end and that's important. New Age mouthpiece which I wear for almost every event, uh, massively helps with training, um, keeps you a bit more rigid especially when you're kind of going for static events like deadlift. Um, just means you can kind of clench your, your jaw together and like get that kind of stiffness in your body it kind of it's really weird isn't it how it's it really works, weird it just it, it really does it work does. it's just very hard to kind of bend when you're uh, you're doing that which is um, great for the balance obviously scissors electrical tape don't know why we've got electrical tape in there but it might come in handy why not <laughs> um, and then we have more bands and all of my stone kits. So we have my stone shorts, my butterfly ones. Um, I wear shorts because the knee sleeves stick better to bare skin, so they're not sliding down in between stones. Um, so that's why the shorts are there. I have some tacky remover and baby oil. nice new pot of spider tacky um, that is the tacky we currently use yep competition grade adhesive spray now top tip for you so if anyone watches my videos <laughs> you'll have a nice don't know if you can there. recommend for people to do this <laughs> not, <laughs> not for the thing of heart no um, but I have adhesive spray yeah. at your own risk <laughs> but, yeah. uh, it's for, don't try this at home it's for gluing them to you basically yes. I literally use the adhesive spray, spray it on the inside of the sleeve and slap it on and stick the sleeves to me. Um, this is because I've had so many instances in the past where sleeves have rolled down mid-competition. Um, since yeah. starting to use <laughs> adhesive spray to stick my sewn sleeves to myself, they've not uh, rolled down once. Yeah, it's kind of um, impossible. Yeah. But just be very careful if you do yeah, do that when taking them off. You don't need to put millions on and you do have to peel them off. Um, slowly. <laughs> slowly. But do you know what? I will do anything. Like any little tips or tricks, like I will do. Um, and then I've got my stone t-shirt and duct tape just for that extra bit of comfort that yes, they're not going to fall down. Well, that's yeah. a rag in this case because you can't use it. Yeah, but yeah. that's a, a rag to help get the tacky off. Which you need. Yeah. <laughs> so that is basically my competition kit. Um, so we, what we do is we go through each event and we just list off the kit that I need for that singular event um, and then just make sure that it's in the bag. And if we do that together, then 
it's two minds are better than one basically like we can both think right is there anything else that's missing and if you go through everything one by one you're less likely to miss something out so that would be my top tip for making sure that you've got all the kit that you need yeah and another one would be there could be event changes which there was last year um so if you need your weightlifting shoes if you didn't have them or your truck pull shoes and the the shoes she has the trainers that, she, that you use are good for everything aren't they uh kind of multi-purpose um but yeah if you need if like anything else if it was an outdoor take event it as well. i would have probably bought the truck pull shoes yeah we just, just know that's case. not possible but it's not case. possible in the middle of arena so there's just no point <laughs> no. Um, so yeah so if you've got any questions about the weekend um, just comment them below I will get back to you all and we will be blogging the weekend so we leave tomorrow which is Friday and um, we will be blogging the whole weekend and hoping for a good result anyway like share subscribe and thank you for your support